this is UI of the plan factory when you open first time. So this is a default workspace. It is very flexible and customizable and you can change how you like it. However, for our videos, I will try to keep it as the same as original. It's a little bit easy to find ways what located. But if you want to get it more advanced, you actually can undock even all windows and move them all over your multiple displays. If you have it more than one display, you can organize your workplace in a way you like it. Well, actually, what I want to to do, I will go a little bit readjusting. So I'm going to reposition some of my windows to make more important windows a little bit bigger and important for us to look. Well, let's first go look all what we actually have on our screen. On the top, you'll notice we have drop down menus where you can access almost all functionality of these applications. Below, we have it our fast access bar to global uh, uh, items, like for example, action items, save the new file, um, render, show us what we render already, increase resolution decrease, even enable wind so we can see how this tree will avail uh, interact or plant will interact with environment. And if you did not know, but plant factory plants <laughs> quite a bit advanced, you can actually create them based on the season age, they can grow, they can modify, they can thrive or starving, you can do all of this stuff almost like living plants and you can program inside. In these videos, we won't cover some of those advanced techniques. I'll show you where they're located, but that is for another series of the videos. Well, on our left side, let's go back to our menu. We have it access to the components what we're going to build our plants with. Next, if we look on our right side, this is Manipulation with the previews, like do I want to see those branches? Do I want to see normals or I want to see the mesh? Kind of just tools that help us to kind of identify segments and preview them to enhance our work. Well, on the middle, we have it our workspace. It is Plan Factory is a node based system. So it's meaning all components you can see as a nodes and by creating additional nodes and connecting them, we can create a different sophisticated structure of the plants. So this is our node view. This is also we can move them around. We can add new nodes and we can add nodes by clicking on a sidebar or a right click and select the nodes or other functionality from pop up menu. Down below, it's where our properties for the plants or nodes will display it. We'll look on this in a second. On the other right side, here is our three dimensional preview window where we can see the plants and just go around and see how it's work. Plan this screen can be modified in a way as we look. We can have a different preview standard mode, display display options. For example, this with shadows, color, rig, we even can have it the uh, path tracer, so it's meaning will render as live rendering almost going. So we can do this filter all additional elements. So this is kind of see our product, how it's work. Well, the little bit more to this, and I don't want overwhelm at the beginning. We'll look on some of these options as we're going to work with this. Down below, we have access to the mesh materials and we actually have a funny access down below right here, components automatic mode, where we actually can paint and draw our own plants live. Well, we won't use it this that much, but I will show you just a couple things. For example, if I click automatic mode, you can see I can actually draw my plants and I can draw branches, stuff, and of course, we can go and select different type of components, like for example, branches here, and we can draw those branches separately. So it's kind of fun things to create. I want to be sure I'm on a plant and you can actually draw in three dimensional plant or whatever you desire. Well, we won't necessarily will do this in this video, just let you know it is exist and it's a little bit more um, 
fun way to create the plants. Personally, I think it's a little bit too random for me. I like work with the nodes a little bit better, but it's a personal preferences. Well, this is about UI at this time, except let's look closer on some of this um, tabs, what they do for us, some properties before we jump and start working on actual project. Notice we have a parameter, some of this empty because we need to select node. Let's select the root and root is a main node. It is where the plants start growing. So this is the first node which is taken and assigned, and assigned to place. We also have it age, season and health. Those is a variable nodes. They can change. We change parameters. For example, how old is a plant or what the time of the season. As we're selecting root, you notice we have it here. Parameters for our root where we have it, our materials. And that is will change if we add more nodes. Next, we have it set up and this is our global. In a global setup, it's where we can modify some of those parameters. Some of this is disabled because they're not yet connect to anything. And if they're not connect, they disable at this time. But you also have it, the random cube, which we're going to use. This is randomized access. This is also option this available on the top bar. And this is good option we'll use in the future to just see variations on what we're creating. We also have it properties for the wind to test. Yes, the, the plant factory plants, they are reacting and they can be fully animated, even included cycle animations, and you can export with animations if you need it. So and right here, you can see all different type of the wind we can taste. Test also, it is global meshing, which apply to everything we can modify here. Bases, presets if we have it, and post-processing. I know it's maybe look a little bit overwhelmed. We won't use everything. This is a little bit like, you know, it's there when we need it for our advanced future look. Well, this is kind of overall on UI. Let's go ahead and start working on some of our projects.